there are three blessings, and to give a man a sword, and to teach him how to maintain and wield the sword, and to teach him precisely when and when not to use the sword. If we want to improve society, we must start with ourselves. To improve ourselves, we must shine a light on our weak areas. Then, we must go inward to find the cause of our ignorance. There is where our ego sits. Once the ego is found, we still have to go deeper and begin to extract, dissolve or put to use. All that is without first comes from within. To go inward, it will take courage. To sit alone with yourself in silence will speak volumes to who you are. Courage will be necessary and I am certain that you can do it. You may have to walk through some difficult doors, but inward fortitude is a must. There are many kinds of postures in Karate and Kung Fu. While learning these postures should not be totally ignored, we must be careful not to overlook that they are forms or templates. It is the function of their application that needs to be mastered. Sifu said, don't use tension. There will be a time for tension. But for now, you do not yet understand where to place the power. If you overexert yourself doing the form, you will merely be burnt out. In Kung Fu, there is a methodology for the use of power. The different styles provide different energy bases. Tiger Claw may be more ferocious in approach, while Crane may be more defensive and evasive. So when learning, it is critical to humble yourself and feel the master's hands. Much of what will be taught will be learned through feeling. It is said that we must respond like an echo and adapt like a shadow. This ability to adapt, to have a solid plan and be prepared to pivot and adjust comes from being on the mats with all the incredible training partners who will give you various energies. So, we see getting tapped out is just as important as going for the tap, attempting with every fiber in your being to seize the leopard and make him tap. As the opponent escapes one submission attempt, you throw up another and another until ultimately you secure position and they tap. When your opponent taps, there is a new danger that arises. You have had a small success. The small success can go to your head. There is a danger of becoming arrogant. However, the arrogance comes from those who are not on the mats. If you stay on the mats enough, you will also get tapped out or realize there is still more to learn. So, the important thing is balance. It is said that to have knowledge and not contribute is to share the road of the greedy. So I have decided to put to paper some teachings from my experience that will help you on your path. But do not confuse knowledge with knowing. This is not a course for linear logic. It is for you to observe inwardly and see the truth of yourself. Ego can be defined as a person's self-esteem or self-worth. We cannot put an end to the ego. As long as we have breath, our ego will breathe with us. My intention is not to capture and detain the ego. That would not be possible, as the ego is intangible. What we will set out to do is observe. Observe inwardly our thoughts and emotions. I want to give you a tool that is of great importance in any endeavor, especially in a self-defense situation. That tool is called awareness. Make no mistake, this is indeed self-defense. <laughs>